Hello all, this is the Fundamentals of Computer Hardware Maintenance. In this course, we are going to discuss about uh, the objectives of the computer hardware maintenance. At the end of this course, you are going to have knowledge of computer hardware and you'll be able to identify computer hardware issues and problems, determine the faulty computer hardware and know basic of uh, computer troubleshooting tips and you'll be able to have the knowledge of operating system and the device drivers, identify hardware peripherals, basic knowledge of uh, self-guiding hardware, and you will be able to apply the knowledge to repair and maintain a computer. Learning the computer basics. Uh, we will start by defining a computer. A computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in, in its uh, in, in its own memory and computer performs only four things uh, number one is to it will accept data as an input it will process the data according to the specified rules which is uh, uh, the programs and it will produce the results which is the output and lastly it will store the results as a storage for future use what uh, this is the typical example of a computer component and the uh, other devices and preparers that are connected to it and used together. This is a typical desktop computer. This is a monitor. This is a keyboard. These tools are, are speakers. This is a mouse. Uh, this is a microphone. This is a flash drive. This is a mod. Uh, this is a external storage. This is modem for sharing your internet. And this is the card reader. This is a scanner and this is a printer. So these are the typical example uh, of computer and its component and other IT gadgets you are use you are using it uh, with the computer. Then we will go to the examples and the types of computer. We have uh, mainframe computer, we have super computers, and we have microcomputers. This is uh, example of mainframe computers. A mainframe computer. Uh, are those super computers that are used in an industry or in a military systems these are examples and these are super computers which are also used uh, in a very sophisticated electronic works then we have micro computers which contains a desktop computer the PDA which is personal digital assistance a network computer and even a, wear, a wearable computer. Sometimes you may be able to wear some computers, maybe on your hand, like a smartwatch, or even on your face, like this one. In this case, we have tablet computer. We have a smartphone. All these ones are example of microcomputers we are using. Then a computer cannot operate without three things. Number one, the hardware. Number two, the software and number three the user. The hardware is a tangible or is a physical part of the computer. The software is the programs that are inside the computer while the user is a person who will operate the computer. Then uh, basic hardware components. Hardware represent the physical uh, hardware represent the physical and the tangible component of a computer. That is the component that can be seen and touched. Examples of hardware are the input devices like a keyboard and mouse, the output devices like uh, printers, monitor, speaker, then the secondary storage devices like a hard drive, the CD room, the flash drive, and so on. Internal components uh, are the component inside the computer like a motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM. So these are the example of a uh, Hardware component. Look at this as an uh, input. Uh, input device, which is a keyboard and mouse. This is a speaker. This is a typical desktop computer, and this is a printer. So let's take the hardware component one by one, and then explain them. Let's start with the input device. Input devices are those devices that we that will allow you to input a data into the computer. We have so many examples of uh, input devices like a keyboard, we have numeric keypad, the pointing device, the remote control is an example of an input device, the joystick we use for gaming, the touch screen like your smartphone touch screen, 
or uh, touch screen on computer or any other devices. The scanner we use to scan our pictures and document. The graphic tablet. The microphone we use it to record our sounds. The digital camera is also an example of input devices. We use it to capture our pictures, the images, and the videos. Then the webcam we use it to record and go online uh, with our computers. Then the light pen, which is also an example of our uh, input device. The next thing is the output devices. Out output devices are those devices that uh, give us the results from our computer. Uh, examples are the monitor, which is the main input device. You can use the monitor to see what you are doing with the computer. The speakers, which produce the sounds that the computer make. The headphones, which we also listen to it on our ears the plotters, projectors, and the printers. All these ones are examples of our uh, output devices. The next thing are secondary storage devices. Secondary storage devices are auxiliary devices we use to store our information from computer after being processed. We have example of our uh, external hard drive. Uh, this is a hard drive. We have the CD-ROM. We have DVD-ROM. We have floppy disk, which is uh, outdated. And we have pen drive which is the flash drive and we use it to carry information from one computer to another or we can use it to store our information for future references and we also have a memory card which is also one of the example of the secondary storage devices then the internal component of the computer a computer a control unit it concern it contains a lot of uh, component inside it the components that are inside a uh, control unit are the motherboard, the processors, the RAM, the optical drives, the hard drive, the heat sink, the plurphy disk, the system fan, and the power supply. All these components are connected to the motherboard, either directly or through uh, a PCI card or anything else. Processor is connected directly to the uh, motherboard and also the RAM is connected directly onto the motherboard. The hard drive and the uh, optical disk drive are connected via a cable we call SATA cable or sometimes an IDE cable in some kits. So these are examples of internal components inside the computer. Thank you for watching our, our tutorial. If you have enjoyed this, this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification icon. Subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you so much.